Let's take a look at the chart action for Dogecoin. All right, so in my last video, we had this like falling wedge, downward triangle pattern, and we broke to the downside right here. I was targeting from the top to the bottom of this triangle, something like this, drag this to the breakout. And I was looking at a target of approximately 187, 186, somewhere around there. And the price actually came down right here, very close to my target. We didn't actually perfectly hit the target, but we got pretty close to it. And right when we hit the target, we pretty much are starting to trend up now. Like I said in my last video though, until we break this trend line right here, this green line, then I think we're going to be trending to the downside. I feel like we're going to be getting rejected on that trend line right there. I'm on the four hour time frame right now, and this is the time frame that I've been mostly looking at. I still have my limit order set at dot one seven seven and dot one five five. They still haven't got filled yet. On the four hour time frame, we did break above the nine moving average right here. So let's see if we can stay above this nine moving average and continue to trend upwards. We also broke the nine moving average on the hourly time frame right here. So let's see how long we could ride this moving average going to the upside as well. We have this 180 moving average right here that might cause us some resistance right here at dot two one two nine somewhere around there. So keep your eye out for resistance right there pretty much. But let's see if we can continue this uptrend and maybe either test this trend line right here and or this 180 moving average in general this area right here. Maybe we can break through but I'm not 100% sure right now. Until it happens, I'm just going to wait and see. If we go to the total crypto market cap, in my last couple videos, we were looking at this triangle right here, and we broke to the downside right here. So in general, I think what I'm looking at is we have a couple downtrends, something like this. Get the top resistance right here, get the top resistance right here, and draw this trend line right there. That's what I'm thinking. And then we also have this top resistance right here and then this all this resistance right here which kind of makes another trend line so let's do a trend line something like this and as you can see we actually broke this trend line so we had resistance going like this and then we broke the trend line right here and it, and actually at the same time uh that's where we broke the four hour moving average as well and so like i was saying we have this 180 moving average right here and then we also have this resistance line right here from this resistance right here and this resistance right here what i'm thinking is we might come up test it we're either going to break through or get rejected i think right at this area somewhere around here at around i think starts around 1.35 trillion somewhere around there and then at the top is about 1.4 trillion where that 180 moving average is on the four hour time frame so yeah, in general, with this total crypto market cap, I think we're going to want to watch this trend line. And until we break that, I am kind of assuming that we're going to be trending to the downside as well, that we'll be bouncing off it as resistance. But like I said, let's see if we could come up, test it, and maybe break through it. If it does, then that'll be good for all of the crypto market cap in general. If we take a quick look at Bitcoin, you can see we've been trading in this sideways range somewhere right here. We're pretty much at this bottom support line right now. So... It's either probably a good time to maybe pick up some Bitcoin or wait till we either break this trend line going to the upside or wait till we break down. The next level, if we do go to the downside, I'm looking at 28805, somewhere around there. We had these wicks down right there, right there. That one almost made it down to that level. This one passed it a little bit. So this orange line at 28805, maybe it'll wick down and then kind of come back and get some some support that's the first line of support that i'm watching in general though we probably want to keep an eye on bitcoin just to see what plays out on this little triangle pattern if we break to the upside or to the downside because i think it will affect dogecoin if we go to the dogecoin to bitcoin chart um i was looking at this trend line in my last video we had resistance pretty much all right here right here right here and just generally just a downtrend like this so what I was talking about is we were trending down and I was talking about how we we're maybe going to retest this bottom trend line right here. And that's pretty much what we're doing right now. It looks like it looks like we came down to this trend line right here and we got support right there. I think we could also maybe do a trend line, maybe something like this from that top right there to this. These tops right here. We have they're just little wicks and you could probably barely see them on the screen. But we have a wick right there. We have a wick right here and we have wick right there and right here. So it seems like we have like a second trend line that we'll be watching. If we break this one, then we could come up and maybe retest this one. 
and maybe break through that one as well. But we're going to have to wait and see and play them each break by break and kind of wait for each one to happen at one at a time. But the thing is, we are at a bottom trend line right now, which we are at a bottom trend line compared to Bitcoin right now. So the two times we hit before this right here and all in right here, pretty much, we got nice little bounces and same with right here too. We came down, got a nice little bounce, went up right here. And then we came back down, got a bounce right here, came up right here to the all time highs, pretty much got a nice little bounce right there. And then we started trending down again. So I guess the thing is, even if we do get a bounce, are we going to continue to trend up or is it just going to be a quick little bounce and then we're going to start trending back down again pretty much. Like if we break out of this trend line right here, it's possible that we hit this trend line right here and start trending downward again, something like that. And maybe have to retest this one to break this trend line. I'm on the four hour time frame right now and you can see this 180 moving average kind of lines up with the area that we're looking at right there. So that's pretty much what I'm looking at. I think the four hour time frame and the 180 moving average are something that I've really been paying attention to on Dogecoin. Yeah, so for me in general still, I don't think I'm gonna be bullish until we break this trend line and I'm expecting to kind of trend to the downside. I haven't been looking at the charts as much as I was before and I'm not really kind of trading as much, but I'm wondering right now if the price is gonna come up and retest this trend line right here. Let's see if that happens. It already looks like we're kind of getting pushed downwards. Let's take a look at the one hour time frame. Yeah, so it looks like we got a little bit of rejection right here and we're already starting to trend down. But let's see if that can hold on this nine moving average like I was talking about because we broke the nine moving average on the hourly time frame right here. And let's see if that can hold support. The four hour time frame is still above it. So yeah, let's kind of look at those. I would say look at the nine moving average on the four hour and the one hour time frame if you're trying to trade Dogecoin right now. All right, if you guys like these videos, hit that thumbs up button.